What's up bro? How are you doing? So, I hope you enjoyed the videos I uploaded in the past 5 or 6 days. Uh, there were a few value bombs and I hope those videos were valuable. In terms of channel growth, uh, the algorithm has stopped recommending some of the videos I re-uploaded. So we'll definitely need to uh, put in more work in terms of my own uh, videos that are edited and everything. Uh, if I want to get monetized next year, that's definitely uh, going to be one of my uh, biggest goals for the next year. Uh, some of the other things I wanted to talk about today are that MMA training is going really well. I really like it and like uh, it's some of those things that Hamza, CEO of Testosterone and some other guys just talked about so much that I just needed to uh, to start doing it because it's like it has so many benefits like it has uh, testosterone benefits, discipline benefits, mental toughness benefits, uh, mindset benefits, uh, confidence benefits, uh, physical health benefits, mental health benefits, a ton of benefits and like almost no downsides except if you are going to do uh, real fights where you can get hurt but in my case I want to do it so there is literally no downsides in my opinion uh, the uh, workout challenge I'm doing I'm on like day 20 now I think or day 21 and it's really going incredible so I think for the past four or five days I every time I succeeded in doing 100 pull-ups and 100 dips in under 10 minutes the best time was 9 minutes 17 seconds, which is incredible because when I started, I think on the day one I did it maybe in 15 minutes or something. So it's like huge progress made. I don't think muscles got any bigger and that's why I didn't even measure them. So when I record the video regarding that, it won't be focused on muscle size because if you want muscle size, don't work out every day the same muscle group because it doesn't make any sense because you want to be able to fully recover and grow the muscles. But if you want to, let's say, prepare for a competition or break a plateau or something like that, I wanted to break a plateau, it uh, it makes sense to do, uh, let's say, uh, you don't do uh, all-out workouts, you don't push your limits fully. In terms of volume, I want to do a two-hour workout, no, that's not the point, because I would be so sore and it wouldn't have any benefits. But let's say you uh, go out 80% of your maximum and don't uh, push too much volume. Like I decided to do like 100 pull-ups and 100 dips and that's not too much for me because like I can do 35 pull-ups in a row and maybe 60 dips in a row. So this is not too much for me. That's why I am able to do, in, do, to do the challenge uh, without uh, getting sore and uh, if you are too 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 sore it uh, doesn't make too much sense for example if you can do five pull, uh, five push-ups you probably shouldn't do the 100 push-ups a day challenge it maybe makes more sense to do maybe 50 per day because if you can do five push-ups barely and you want to do 100 every day you will be so 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 fucking sore after like two or three days and like it, you will probably fail or like something like that. But if you can do like 10 or 15 or something like that, why not do 100 per day? You will see huge benefits. So definitely you, sh you should try some of these challenges. Also, one thing I didn't update you with is that uh, between Sunday and Monday, I slept on the floor just with uh, my pillow and uh, with the blanket. And that was a mental toughness challenge to see if I will be able to push through it and uh, <coughs> uh, I have a slight cold. Uh, one of the things that I noticed is that it's fucking uncomfortable. Like I'm so grateful for my bed after doing the challenge. That was mostly the point of the challenge to actually be grateful for your bed because you take it for granted. Obviously everyone has a bed. I mean, mostly in the countries that we live in. And uh, yeah, I was like awake for half of the night. It was really fucking uncomfortable, uncomfortable for like a back, for for arms, for everything. Like it was so uncomfortable. And I'm happy that I pushed through it. And do I recommend doing it uh, if you want to 
uh, become mentally tougher and be grateful for your bed, why not? You can do it. Uh, some other things I wanted to mention. Nothing too special. So uh, I think there is one more thing that I want to mention in this video, which is that for this year, the goals were mostly uh, to fix my life because because the last year, 2021, I was uh, playing video games, jerking off. Uh, I was being too emotional. I was pretty weak. I didn't care about my health too much. I did work out pretty consistently and eat pretty clean for uh, a pretty solid amount of the year. But uh, all the other things were awful. Like my sleep was really bad. My mental health was awful. Uh, my discipline almost didn't exist and I wasn't motivated. I didn't love my life and stuff like that. Uh, and I did. I was clueless about my purpose and what I wanted to do in my life. And 2022 was uh, meant to fix my life. And al also, like, uh, it maybe looked like I didn't focus too much on the businesses in the past few months because truly I didn't put in too much work into that. I put much more work into, like, working out and meditating and reading compared to businesses but that's mostly because like if you look at my goals i will just uh it's like if you look at my goals you can see that building a business is like a 2025 goal so i didn't focus on it too much because like i'm already so much in i'm already so much in front of like what how do i say this in english I'm already uh, doing much better than I expected when I was writing the goals in June. So uh, I'm really happy about that because like if I'm looking at this uh, now, I see that next year will probably be the year that in which I'm not trying to just fix my life overall and do some healthy habits like this year was for. And I succeeded in that definitely. But next year will be probably more like for uh, gaining in um, so... Oh, well, for gaining financial uh, freedom. I don't expect to become a millionaire next year, but I expect to make uh, even over 10k next year. So that th those are the goals for the next year. So because I want to be able to uh, move out as soon as I'm 18. So I want to be 18. I have like 10k on my bank account and just move out immediately and also drop out of high school, obviously. Uh, so those are the goals for the next year for the most part I don't have many other goals for the next year in terms of like except like I want to monetize my YouTube channel next year but in terms of some other things like working out and stuff I enjoy working out so I don't really need to set some like huge incredible goals or whatever because like I enjoy doing it so yeah that's pretty much for it for this video guys uh, see you tomorrow